down 14. Crowd is deafening, and Fuller says, Jay Hilkenberg, my center, can't hear the snap count. Hard to quiet this crowd down. Chicago Bears, of course, into the game, 12-0 undefeated, looking to go all the way and become the winningest team in the history of pro football for a single season. They'd be 19-0 if they could go all the way. Miami, of course, 17-0 in the historic 72 season. The Dolphins would like to interrupt that, and they're doing a lot of things that indicate that they might just do that. The more of their concern is with the AFC Eastern Division race. New England's 9-4, and four, the Jets are 9-4, and four, and Miami's 8-4. and four. They need a win tonight to tie for the lead in the AFC Eastern Division. Incidentally, two weeks from tonight, we'll be back here in Miami, the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. Well, this happened in the first quarter, if you were with us. The partisan crowd, noisy to the point, but the Bears cannot hear their offensive signals. only been three undefeated teams in the history of this game. Bears did it in 34. They did it in 42. The Dolphins did it in 72. But the Dolphins were the only ones to go all the way through to the championship as the noise continues. I mentioned on the 16th we'll be back here for Miami and New England. Busy weekend next weekend, and a very interesting one. The Steelers, one game behind the Cleveland Browns in the AFC Central Division, will be in San Diego to go against the Chargers, who are still alive for a playoff. Dan Fouts for the number one offensive unit. That game will be Sunday night, and we'll bring that to you at 9 o'clock Eastern. And then the following night, we'll be in San Francisco. The Rams and the 49ers. The 49ers trail the Rams by one. But if they can win at home, and win their remaining two games, they will be the Western Division champions of the NFC because they've already beaten the Rams once before, and the first tiebreaker is head-to-head -head competition. Third down and 13, in case you forgot. They're going to ask Don Shula on the sidelines if he can help. Again, as I mentioned early in the game, the first quarter when this happened, there's nothing the officials can do. And I think Don Shula can quiet any crowd. He certainly quieted the Buffalo crowd every time I came down there and played. It's <laughs> huge. <laughs> this was where your string of 100-yard games ended, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly here against the Dolphins. Walter Payton trying to make it eight. And he would stand alone for consecutive 100-yard games. He's tied at the moment with O.J. and Earl Campbell. There comes a point when this becomes a little ridiculous. And we've had it twice tonight. Fuller is not ready. Steve Fuller might be going to take it from behind the center. Here again, the quarterback just has to be patient. You don't want to waste the play. You can't allow the crowd to bully into going ahead and calling signals when your team can't hear it. It could cost you the football game. Yes, it, you know, that was a time I had to wait when I was with the New York Jets for almost seven minutes, and it happened to be a Chicago Bears at Soldier Field in Chicago. <laughs> you know, this is wild. The Dolphin players were waving their arms. Now this entire stadium is up, imitating the Dolphin players who are trying to quiet them. Bizarre. Yes, Fuller is under the center. Going to take the snap from the center, maybe. No. Boy, there are going to be a lot of polyps 
developed by this crowd tonight. I think eventually we're going to have to make some kind of a rule change to try to prohibit this kind of behavior. Of course, the fans are entitled to show their excitement. Well, Don Shula is on the competition committee of the NFL. what it'd be pretty difficult to uh, penalize the crowd because there are teams in this league I know some teams that I played in in Buffalo if fans would have penalized us the whole second half of the game they would have just made noise <laughs> <laughs> they figured they had a better chance of winning <laughs> believe me we deserve to be penalized some of my years earlier years in Buffalo well, we had some of those with the Jets too I'll repeat what I said earlier Joe Robbie said tonight in the 20-year history of this franchise, he has never seen the city in such a turmoil over a football game. And there have been a lot of great years down here. Now they've quieted somewhat. Third down at 13. 4 all 3 remaining here in the third quarter. Down goes Fuller. 